Hi everyone, welcome back to Pretty Pastel Pastries. My name is Giselle. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make these super cute Easter themed strawberries. I can't wait for you guys to see. If you guys like this video, feel free to give me a big thumbs up. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. So our first step is going to be placing this into the microwave at 30 second intervals. After each addition, you're going to make sure you give this a really good mix and keep placing it in there until it's nice and melted. Now today I'm going to use the brand Ghirardelli. This is their white vanilla flavored melting wafers and this is a 30 ounce bag. So I'm going to go ahead and place that in there and we'll be right back. So now we are back with our melted chocolate and I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So you do want this consistency right here. This is ideal for dipping and it will not give you any problems. So we're all set with our chocolate. Now let's go ahead and actually start dipping. So right over here on my right hand side I have my strawberries nice and dried. Um, but you always also want to make sure you just grab a paper towel and just make sure it's dry again. So just grab it and make sure it's dried. Now from here we're going to go ahead and insert our toothpick. These are the toothpicks that we'll be using today. So I'm going to place this one on the right hand side of that little stem. Now we're going to pick up all the leaves. And this is how you want your strawberry to look like when you're dipping. So all we're simply going to do is dip it right here in our white chocolate. So just bring it down. Make sure you add as much chocolate as you would like. Then from here we're just going to lift it up and shake off the excess. So now at this point I've taken off as much chocolate as I can. And now we're just going to lift it up, give it a little wiggle. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and grab this little styrofoam circle right here. I already pre-made all of my like little dots in there so I don't have any problem with that and we're just gonna place it right in the center. And I get a lot of questions asking if my chocolate starts dripping and the answer is no because I've taken off as much as I can therefore nothing is gonna fall off so don't worry about that just make sure you take off as much chocolate prior. Now since we're done with these white berries, we're going to go ahead and color our chocolate and I'm going to color it in the color yellow. So just make sure you give this a good mix and we want a really light pastel color. So now from here I'm just going to add in one drop and we'll go from there. So now we're going to go ahead and place this aside and we're going to work on some decoration for now. We also have to dip two more berries in light pink, but before we do that we're going to use some of our white. So let's go ahead and add some into a piping bag. Now from here I have some wax paper, you can also use parchment paper as well. I'm going to cut a small tip on my piping bag. Okay, so now from here we're going to do the feet and the tail. So it's going to be super easy. I hope you guys can kind of see. I'll zoom in. So now from here, we're just going to go ahead and pipe like a little oval type of thing. So that this resembles the feet of the bunny. So just make sure they kind of look the same. Let's go ahead and do two more sets just in case. Okay, so now from here, I'm going to set this one aside. I'm going to grab one more piece of wax paper. So now I have my sheet of wax paper and I have here a disposable plate. You can also use one that is reusable. Now from here, we're also going to use these Wilton white sanding sprinkles. Let's go ahead and open that up. Now for the tail, it's just going to be a plain circle. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pipe our circle, kind of like medium size. 
I'm gonna do three of these. Now from here, just tap it down a little bit so it's nice and seamless. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our sprinkles and just place them on top. So now these are here when they're all nice and set, you're gonna have a little bit of these sprinkles and it's gonna look super cute. So now I'm gonna go ahead and place these both in the refrigerator for about three minutes and we'll be right back. So now to our unused white chocolate, we're gonna go ahead and use one drop of this candy coloring, give it a good mix and we'll be right back. So now we're on to decoration. I went ahead and pulled these out from the refrigerator. They're all set. So now from here, we're just gonna pop them out onto here. Super easy. And I also went ahead and added some pink into a piping bag so we have that ready. And then right over here, we have the little tails. So you just wanna take off that sanding sugar. And it's gonna be easy as well just to take these off. So now from here we have our small little feet, so I'm just going to arrange them facing me and these are perfectly set over here so we don't have to do anything to this. So I went ahead and filled up some chocolate into a Ziploc baggie. I'm just going to cut a small tip on here. Now to these, all I want to do is just put a little heart here. So pipe, go down, pipe a circle, go down, that makes a little heart. We're gonna do the same to all of them. Okay, now that we have our small little hearts, we're gonna go ahead and pipe three circles at the top. And we're gonna do this to the rest of them. So now from here, I'm going to place this into the refrigerator, making sure everything is set. Then from there, we're going to decorate our white berry and we'll be right back. So now from here, we're going to go ahead and use Super Pearl. This is such a beautiful iridescent white color. So from here, I'm going to grab a little bit. You don't want that much on your brush. Then we're quickly going to grab our berry and just swirl some all around. Now this is super fast, we do not need to do too much to it, and it's gonna give us this really iridescent color. So now we're ready to start decorating our berry. So we're gonna grab our berry and our white chocolate. I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate right here in the center. And now I'm gonna grab one of these little bunny tails. I'm gonna place it right there. And then right here I'm gonna place the feet. So again, I'm gonna grab a little bit of chocolate right here. And we're gonna do one at a time. So there's one, and the other one's gonna go over here. And this was super easy. Now we have our two little feet and our bunny tail that looks super cute. I'm gonna do the same to one more. Now let's go ahead and move on to our yellow berry. Now to this one right here, we will be using something completely new on this channel. Today we're going to be using poppy paint in the color white. Poppy paint is perfect for adding out to chocolate, so it's gonna give us this really amazing color on there. And before you start, you wanna give this a really good mix. Now with poppy paint, you wanna work with a little bit at a time in your little cup. 
So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to add a little bit of poppy paint into my bowl. And you can always add more as you go. So I'm going to use a small little angle brush like this. Now to our bear, we're going to add a little bit of white all around here, kind of making it like the stomach area. So I'm going to add some white into my little brush. Now from here, we're just going to go all around. And just take your time, make sure you don't add too much like I did. And from here, we're going to let this dry a little bit. So just go ahead and air dry it. And now we're ready for a second coat. So again, let's go ahead and fill that up and make it really vibrant. So now that we went ahead and let this dry, this is what it's going to be looking like. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in her small little eyes. Now that we have our eyes on there with a little bit of lashes, I'm going to go ahead and do the little beak. I'm going to do the beak in a white. So we're just going to go ahead and add this to the center. I'm just going to add like a little line and then grab my little toothpick and just bring it upwards. So this is what it should look like. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and grab some cotton candy and I'm going to add a little bit of fluff to the top of her head. It's going to be super cute. I'm going to grab a toothpick and some of my yellow chocolate and I'm just going to add a little bit, not that much. So we have a little bit there. Now I'm just going to grab a little bit of this. Don't want too much and just add some to the top. That looks super cute. <laughs> I love how that looks. I was trying to go for more of like a yellow at the top, but I did not have that. So pink works just fine too. And then from here, we're going to grab Elena. This is a beautiful pink color. And I'm just going to set her down so I can open this up. I'm going to add a little bit of pink to her cheeks. So I'm just going to grab a small little brush. Don't want too much on the brush, just a little bit. And then from here, I'm just going to add some blush. Now lastly to this, I just want to add a little heart right here in the corner. So let me just grab a little bit of chocolate and place them on there. Now with some tweezers, I'm going to grab some of these shimmer mini hearts. I purchased this one from Michael's Craft Store. And I'm just going to place that on there. Now lastly to our pink berry, I have some pink in a piping bag as well. Now from here, we're just going to do a simple egg design. Now lastly to our pink berry, I'm just going to make it kind of look like an egg. So I'm going to go ahead and add like a swirl here. Another swirl at the bottom, so just squeeze and just go around. And then lastly, I'm just going to add a couple of dots.
So now we're all set for decoration and I'm looking at my strawberries and I feel like we actually don't need like the bottom leaves. So what I'm thinking is to just take this off. And I think that looks a lot more cleaner. So I'm just gonna do this to the rest of them and we'll be right back. So now from here, we're just gonna grab our berries and we're just gonna place them down just like this, kind of at an angle. So now we're going to use for decoration this egg. I purchased this one from Walmart and I also got this one from Walmart as well. This is the yellow paper shred. They have a lot of different options for you there. And I also picked up this one from Michael's craft store and it has a lot of colors. So I think for this box, we're actually going to go with the yellow theme. So I'm going to add about halfway of confetti paper shred on there. Okay, so now from here, we're going to add in our chicks. So I'm going to add these in first. So I'm going to add one right here. So you're able to fit more berries than four. These are like a large size, but I just went ahead and added four and I think that's perfect. Now to these little empty areas, I'm just going to grab like a couple eggs and just position some in there. Now to this, you can also add different candies on there without the eggs, but I feel like the eggs looks really nice. And lastly, we have this clear top right here. I'm just going to add this one on top. And nothing is squished. Everything is perfectly fine and this is what it's going to end up looking like. This is super cute, I love how this looks. And you can also add like a ribbon right here in the middle and tie it. I think that would also look really pretty. But next up, I wanna show you guys another idea. We're going to use a regular standard box. So let me go ahead and take this all out. Lastly, I have this standard bakery box right here. I'll go ahead and link it down below just in case you guys are interested. So I'm gonna do the same and add the yellow paper shred. I think that ties in perfectly with our colors. And then I'm just gonna place them in there. So for these, I kinda like digging a little bit down just so that the berries don't move so much So this is what it looks like with the Easter eggs and all of the little cute strawberries in there. I love how that turned out. Now lastly, I'm just going to close this up so you guys can see. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on those post notifications to notify you next time I upload. And if you guys want to be featured at the end of my next video, all you guys have to comment are tulip emojis down below and I'll be sure to give a lucky subscriber a shout out. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, have a lovely day.